Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to another episode of China. How it is? Today we're talking about the high-speed trains in China, which are ever expanding and really, really, really convenient.、Uh, now, what you're seeing right now is not the high-speed rail system. This is the Shenzhen Metro. A lot of the big cities in China have subway systems similar to Shenzhen. Although I think I would be correct in saying that Shenzhen has the cleanest, nicest one、uh, out of all the different cities I've been to in China, anyway, that I've personally seen. Anyway, it's really convenient and fantastic to get around the city and go where you want to go, and it's ever expanding too. But unfortunately, if you want to go to another city, you really only have a few choices. Number one, bus, which I really don't recommend, and you'll see at the end of this video why. Number two. Of course, the normal train, which is convenient and ch fairly cheap, but you know takes a, a long time, depending. And then, of course, the new high-speed rail、uh, system, which is really convenient and, in fact, pretty cheap too. Now, in order to prevent ticket scalpers, you have to buy your ticket using your passport or Chinese ID card. I'll talk about buying a ticket later. Right now, you can see I'm standing in a queue, and this queue leads up to the entrance where they will check your passport and your ticket to make sure they match. Next, we have security, where you have to put your bags through an X-ray machine and walk through a metal detector. For those of you curious as to what these tickets look like, this is what the high-speed rail ticket actually looks like.、It、has your passport number over there. Which is thankfully a little bit obscured, so that I don't get stalkers.、It、has your name, at least part of your name. How much it cost, the date, the time.、Uh, it's pretty much got relevant information, as well as an advert, a QR code, and that's the important number over there.、It、says from Shenzhen Beijing to Guilin Beijing, and you can kind of see in English it's written Shenzhen Bei, which means Shenzhen North, and Guilin North. So that's what the ticket looks like, and、uh, you can buy these tickets here. There's a ticketing office, which is a separate entrance over there,、it's、secluded. You buy a ticket and go up, join the queue, or you、um, can buy it online and pick it up at a ticket office, like I did. So here I am in the Shenzhen Bay Station, or Shenzhen North train station. Let's take a little look around. That's a security entrance over there. Now, a couple of very interesting points. First of all, they accepted a copy of my passport because you know my passport's in for my visa. So they accepted a copy when I came in, which is a good thing. I was、uh, worried about that. Number two, I'm very surprised, but they let me through security, and I'll tell you why. Because I have with me. Hammers,、uh, tools of spanners and screwdrivers, and I have a, a battery, oil, epoxy resin, battery charger. You know, I don't think these kind of things. I thought I'd get trouble trying to bring them in, but I guess not. I'm actually very lucky, so no issues. So, yeah. Now all I need to do is well, there's this big board up here. Which will tell me, you know, which trains are departing from where, and、uh, it does pop up in English and、uh, Chinese. So I have to go. Well, let's see. It does change.、Um, my my one goes at like eleven forty. Yeah, there it is. Guilin Bay, the second from the bottom there, the G two nine zero four. 11:48. Check in at A19 or, or B19. I don't quite get that.、Um, and it says、uh, Zhengdian, so it's kind of on its way or whatever. So I will go and find this A19 and show you guys. You know, once I find it. So I found the gate and I had to join the queue on the left. Actually, the guy is directing people with red tickets to stand on the left and people with blue tickets to stand on the right. I suppose there's a difference in where you bought the ticket. 
Anyway, stand in your queue and go through security. You'll come down to the train itself. As you can see, on my ticket it tells me which car I'm supposed to go to and my seat number. That's quite convenient. On the side of each car there's a small uh, LED display which tells you, well, first of all that it's the right train and uh, it tells you which car you're looking at. So it's quite easy to actually find your way to where you're supposed to be. Unfortunately, in China, there's always a lot of pushing and shoving and people trying to sit in the wrong seats and, and general sort of chaos whenever you take public transport. This is first class, a first class ticket that I bought and it was still the same old, you know, having to squeeze past people who were just being inconsiderate, etc. But that's part of the whole China experience, so especially if invasion of per personal space is a big thing for you, Please bear that in mind that when you come to China, it's going to be an issue. Okay, so now you'll be underway. Now, although the journey is very nice and smooth and very fast, in fact the train reaches over 320 kilometers an hour, I believe, there is actually a speedometer and it tells you the outside temperature and all that uh, up at the top, uh, at the front of the car. Uh, I would suggest bringing some sort of noise cancelling earphones along because, for instance, this announcement that you can hear in the background just seems to be on loop and goes on forever and it's basically just telling you all the rules of the, you know, of the, the train and it's telling you where you're going and, uh, you know, where you're leaving from, etc. But it really goes on and on and on and you've got the typical noisy children and uh, you know, loud talking all over. So, you know, seriously, if you want to enjoy the ride, bring some nice noise-canceling earphones along. Uh, that's my my personal advice after my experience on this trip. But you know, other than that, it's fairly nice. You know, you get to see some good scenery along the way. You can order food and drinks. Okay, so that's the high-speed rail in China. Now it's quite funny, it's actually usually faster to take the high-speed rail than to take an airplane. And that's because, you know, if you go to fly, you have that check-in period and, you know, waiting for the plane and, and delays, etc. And it's actually usually quicker to take the train than to take a domestic flight to a nearby city. So bear that in mind next time you want to travel around China. I can definitely uh, recommend taking the high-speed rail. It is one of the more, uh, the more comfortable and appropriate forms of travel in China. And uh, I will be doing another video in the near future to tell you about the ghastly buses and the terrible um, sleeper bus experience I had on the way back from Yangshuo. And until that time, guys, I hope you found this an interesting video. Uh, leave comments down below, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. And until then, stay awesome.